Well, good morning, everybody. It's a wonderful day in South Carolina, and we are here to congratulate our South Carolina District Teachers of the Year, and especially our 2023 South Carolina Teacher of the Year, Dion Jameson. <laughs> Dion uh, is not only the first winner from one of our charter school districts, but he represents our first African-American male, and we are so proud of you for choosing education, but particularly for being a teacher in South Carolina. This is Teacher Appreciation Month and Teacher Appreciation Week, and we say thank you to the 56,000 teachers across our great state. We've been doing this program now for over 46 years in South Carolina, and we've had two National Teachers of the Year from our state and 12 national finalists. We have 79 school districts that have participated this year, sending a District Teacher of the Year. We have wonderful sponsors who help us not only have a, a beautiful gala, which we attended last night, but all during the year, these teachers participate in professional development and really grow uh, to be even wiser and stronger teachers, and we appreciate them so much. Thanks to the General Assembly and the people of South Carolina, each of our five finalists receive a $10,000 check. Uh, each of our district uh, winners receive a $1,000 check, Governor, and Dion is going home with a $25,000 okay. check. So thank you and the General Assembly for supporting our program so well. Uh, we are glad you're here today. I am honored to present to you uh, a gentleman who just shared with me one of his favorite teachers uh, at Satchel Ford Elementary, and I, we appreciate his service to our state. Please welcome the Honorable Henry McMaster, our governor of the great state thank of South you. Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you, Molly, with all that, that great prize money, I, a lot of us are thinking, where do we go to sign up to try to be yes, a, be a teacher? On, we need you. Well, on, on that point, though, you all know when, just in the time that I, I've been here and really studying these issues, teachers do not get recognized enough or, or not, not paid enough. When I arrived, we had about 30,000 minimum, and if we get our way, we'll be 40,000. Yes, so tell the legislature to vote yes on that. You should, do. but uh, thank you for allowing me to participate in this. As Molly said, uh, I remember my favorite teacher very well is Ms. Henry, Ms. Moody Henry, who lived on Trenum Road. I go by that house all the time, and she was my fourth and fifth grade teacher. We uh, at Satchel Ford. I came from Creighton and went to Satchel Ford, and she was a fourth grade teacher. And she went up with us, and she had uh, the foresight to try to get me over my very uh, great shyness by starring me as little Henry in the land of the slow folks, <laughs> a, a fourth grade play. But uh, I always remember and are grateful too. We all, we, we're not born with much knowledge, maybe a little bit of instinct, but everything we learn, we learn from somebody. And the, the, the strength and nature and knowledge, perseverance and talent of those somebodies is enormously important because that's what shapes all of us. So I'm happy to participate in this recognition. The, the finalists are Zachary Arms of Le Liberty High School in Pickens County. Would, I, would they step up when I, we just want everybody to take a look at you. There, there you go. Uh, Jamie Gooker of Woodruff Middle School in Spartanburg County. Excellent, okay. Uh, Dion Jameson, of course, we'll, we'll get to you in a minute. Laura Merck of Springfield Middle School in York County. Thomas uh, Slater, Ches Ch Thomas Slater of Chestnut Oak Middle Oaks Middle School in Sumter County. And of course, Dion Jameson of the Legacy Early College in Greenville County. And Dion, you are the honoree this time, and I want to say we are, we are proud of you, proud of what you're doing and proud of what you will do, and we'd love to hear from you at this time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So I'd just like to start by saying Happy Teachers Appreciation Week. Uh, this is an amazing program that the state of South Carolina has been putting on for such a long time. And it feels amazing to be recognized alongside uh, the wonderful finalists that were just named and the District Teachers of the Year. Uh, so just thank you so much for this honor and this recognition. I look forward to serving the uh, students and the teachers across our state. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dion, and ladies and gentlemen, the cause of our great teachers, it is the reason for this proclamation, State of South Carolina Governor's Proclamation, whereas dedicated teachers across the Palmetto State are committed to providing quality educational opportunities to all students, and whereas serving as educators, coaches, motivators, mentors, teachers help equip students with the knowledge and skills essential to their future success, and whereas teachers strengthen our communities by laying the foundation for a lifetime of good citizenship, and whereas the 2022 observance of Teacher Appreciation Month offers an opportunity to acknowledge our teachers as the important role they play in shaping the future of our state. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, Governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim May 2022 as Teacher Appreciation Month throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to recognize the invaluable contributions and positive impact of teachers in the Palmetto State. And that's signed by me, Henry D. McMaster, proud, happy governor of South Carolina on behalf of 5.2 proud, happy South Carolinians. Thank you very much. Again, thank you all for being here. We do want every teacher across South Carolina and the nation, but particularly our state, to know that we do appreciate your work. Uh, we truly appreciate your work over the last few years that have been so tough, but every day, Governor, uh, I was told him last night, when the sun comes up, teachers, most of them are already at school, anxiously awaiting the arrival of about 800,000 little South Carolinians. <laughs> who come in those beautiful 6,000 shiny new buses we have and moms and dads dropping them off and they're prepared. Our teachers are prepared to meet those students' needs every day. And when the sun goes down, they're usually still working. They're getting either finishing up their day or getting ready for the next day because our teachers know how important education is. It opens the door for potential and opportunity for all young people. And it, can, it does change lives. And the future of our state and our nation lies in the hands of the training that these teachers offer along with their families and their churches and communities. So we appreciate what all you do. Thank you. And keep teaching. And to any young people who are watching, we hope that you will consider becoming a teacher, the greatest profession on earth. Thank you so much.